Thank you for joining today's Connection Point in Times News Briefing Podcast. Hope you're all doing super well and having a blessed day. And today's update, just because it's so prevalent and, and concerning, and I thought it'd be good to mention this issue of spiritual warfare and demonic presence that's going on and what we're to do about it. As we mentioned in past updates about the spiritual warfare in these end times and the demonic presence is certainly increasing. Of course, it's been around since the beginning of time, and in past years it was more subtle uh, in the things that were happening, but now it's so uh, blatantly obvious in, in your face from all over the media, the movies, the TV shows, the music, the gaming, the educational system, and of course the political left, the Democrats in the U.S. and the labor governments and the different countries that would have this uh, different type of uh, government policies and agenda. It's so demonic uh, these days. The demonic deception is destroying the fabric of society as it's been for quite some time and the time that we're living in, and it's certainly increased. Uh, We're seeing so many lives have been ruined and and destroyed. We're seeing the woke mentality pushing the agenda, the cultural agenda. And uh, we see when businesses, when companies, stores, movies, sport team, uh, and clubs take on this agenda and they go woke, it becomes a disaster for them and they don't recover from this. And what's behind the wokeism is a demonic spirit of destruction deception and perversion. And as we've seen with the current government in most of these countries that are accepting and pushing wokeism and supporting that uh, ideology, there's chaos that's happening. There's the riots, there's the destruction of property, uh, the shoplifting, And when the woke agenda is promoted and pushed, it's anarchy that is raising up. And uh, that is certainly the spirit of Antichrist. And this is what the demonic realm wants. This is Satan's agenda. Now, there's always been the spiritual warfare, as we've mentioned in in the past. Uh, There's there's, uh, nothing new about this. But what we're seeing is the increase in activity, the frequency, the magnitude uh, in the these last days. We're warned about this in the Bible, even as the Bible says, in, in the days of Noah, so will it be the coming of the Son of Man be. And Jesus referred to the days of Noah as he was describing what the conditions would be like prior to his return. And his point is that people wouldn't care or would be unaware of uh, his return to judge mankind. And sadly, uh, the vast majority of the earth's inhabitation will be living uh, in ungodly lives, um, in, in a world that is filled with violence uh, when this monumental event occurs. And that's exactly what we're seeing today. When Jesus uh, talked about this in what was called the Olivet Discourse, which is found in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21, Jesus described what's happening on earth before his second coming. Again, the signs of the end of the age are including lawlessness, abounding, the love of many drawing cold, uh, which is what we're seeing all around us. Noah preached a warning message uh, for the people of his time to repent, to get right before God, before the floods would come, and God waited patiently uh, for that to happen. He waited 120 years uh, that uh, we see that Noah preached righteousness. Unfortunately, the people didn't respond. They didn't care. They continued to live their lives as they pleased. They ignored ignored God and the message of the gospel. And the longer they persisted, the more unsound in their judgment and their reasoning became and the heart of their hearts became uh, for them to change because they loved their sin. They loved their darkness more. And and we're told in Romans chapter 1 uh, how the people became futile in their thoughts and the foolish hearts were darkened. And eventually, as it tells us, that God gave them over to these things. So, my friends, we need to be aware. We need to be informed and equipped in what we're uh, seeing and dealing with in the spiritual realm and the warfare that's going on, the end times, and understanding the times that we're living in. And in dealing with warfare, the best way for us to, to combat that, again, is for us to be in the Word of God, to read, to study, to obey, to applying the Word of God to our lives. We need to be praying and interceding. 
uh, for one another, praying for uh, the will of God to be done, uh, for us to be effective for him and his kingdom and sharing the gospel with as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. And of course, we need to be armed with the full armor of God, as Ephesians 6 tells us. So my friends, be on guard, be prepared, be and stay ready for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, it's going to get intense in these last days, but we have everything that we need with the Word of God, with the Holy Spirit in our lives, and with prayer. And we have each other. Amen? That's it for today's update. Until next time, God bless.